When you are a leader, you have all sorts of demands and life in general is just overwhelming. So we're going to talk about the best ways to prioritize and we're going to get started right now. What is up my winning friend? Welcome back to another video and if this is your first time here and you want to reach your potential and crush your goals, start right now by hitting the subscribe icon and tap the bell notifications that way you don't miss anything. Thinking ahead and prioritizing your responsibilities make a huge difference between the leader and the follower. Practical people know how to get what they want, philosophers know what they ought to want, and leaders know how to get what they ought to want. Now success is the progressive realization to a predetermined goal. So what this definition tells us that our discipline to our priorities is key to a leader's success. Your ability to map out your goals and to prioritize what's going to give you the best return and then to adhere to those goals and progressively work on them, that's the key to leadership. you got to do the things that you don't want to do but that you know you need to do in order to get to the certain place that you want to get. Self-discipline is everything. Motivation, that's crap, all right? Motivation, that just comes and goes like a roller coaster. Here today, gone tomorrow. But processes, discipline, that's what builds character. That's what humans are. We are creatures of habit. So when you build these processes, you embed them into your system, and now you are acting on habit. Everything that we do, most of the things we do, about 95% of the things we do every single day are run through our subconscious mind. You don't even have to think about how to talk, how to walk, how to text, all that stuff. You don't need to think how to re pick up a pen. You don't say, I need to contract my shoulder muscle, then contract my tricep muscles to extend my arm and pick up this pen. You just do it. So by building these processes, you are building habits, successful habits, and you do these same things over and over and repeat them until you find success. One of the most effective ways to prioritize as a leader is to use the 80-20 rule, where 20% of your priorities will give you 80% of the production if you spend 80% of your time, effort, and energy in the top 20% of your priorities. For example, 20% of this video is going to provide 80% of the value. 20% of the people in your organization are going to produce 80% of the production. And I know as leaders, you get overwhelmed with all the things that you have to do, but you have to find people that you can delegate certain tasks to, all the day-to-day -day management to. And at first, you may not they might not do as good of a job as you would do it. And that's why you have to teach them and you have to sacrifice. You have to be patient and you have to lead as a leader and show these people how to do it. Or else you're going to be stuck every day just handling day-to-day -day tasks and you're never going to really grow. You're not going to focus on the 20% impact items that's really going to accelerate your business, your organization, and your leadership to new levels so you can make even a larger impact. So determine in your organization which is the top 20% of the people that produce 80% of the return. Spend 80% of your time with the top 20%. Spend 80% of your personal development dollars on the top 20%. And determine what 20% of the work produces 80% of the return. Then hire an assistant to do the other 80% of the work that's not as effective. So that way you can be more effective in the things that really matter. Guys, I can't stress this enough. This really frees up the producer to do what he or she does best. When you're faced with a bunch of deadline driven projects, things that produce 80% of the return, it is imperative as a leader that you can focus on two to four things at once and be able to handle them effectively. Trying to do everything at once is gonna be very, very unproductive. They say in a life that anything goes is usually a life that nothing goes. You gotta hone in, focus on the things that are gonna give you the best return, prioritize. Now, of course, you're gonna have to handle projects that are important and urgent. We call these crisis, deadline-driven projects, things that need to be done. But it's very important that you spend the bulk of your time in matters that are important, but they're not urgent. An example of that is working out. Obviously, working out is very important. It will add years to your life, but it's not urgent right this minute, or things as setting goals for an example it's very important that you set goals and you know where you're going and you get there but it's not urgent that you set the goal right now some people just go on the fly so it's important to spend your time in these areas that are important but not urgent and when you do you drastically limit the crisis the deadline driven the, the matters that are important and urgent those are eliminated almost completely when you spend the bulk of your time and matters that are important but not urgent. I mean, if you ask yourself right now, 
What is something that I could be doing that I'm not currently doing right at this moment that if I did it on a consistent basis would bring a great tremendous impact in my personal or professional life. Nine times out of 10, these are gonna fall into matters that are important, but they're not urgent. Now, once you map out these priorities and you got a game plan of where you need to focus your energy, it's really important that you stay focused on things as they come up because priorities are gonna change. Things happen and you gotta be able to adjust and shift and go with the change. If you're afraid of change, you're more likely not gonna be successful. You gotta be able to adapt. You're gonna to have to be able to pull the trigger and say, hey, this came up and this is way more important than what I have going on here. Or we are shifting our focus, we're shifting our attention this way because this is gonna give us the best return. As a leader, it's your responsibility to determine where's the next move, what's the next step, what do I need to change, what do I need to implement, what do I need to take out? That's your responsibility as a leader. And you cannot overestimate the unimportance of practically everything. And what I mean by that, life is very distracting. You're gonna get pulled in all these different angles. You're gonna have to know the things that you need to overlook. There's gonna be tons of them. Things that are just not important and not gonna give you a return. And you gotta be able to sidestep those distractions and stay laser focused on the goal at hand and on the matters that are gonna bring you the greatest return. Have you ever heard of the saying, good is the enemy of the great? Very, very true. You're gonna be faced sometimes with two decisions that are both good and it's your responsibility as a leader at that point to determine which one's gonna give me the best return. Go for the great, good is the enemy of the great. When you just go for the good and the, and the average, you're gonna get those average results in life. We only get one life, all right? Nobody wants to be average. We're put here, we all have greatness within us and we all can do things extraordinarily, but it's up to us and it is our responsibility to face those fears, to find out what is the best, the greatest decision, and to actually step forward and go for the great. Now, too many priorities will paralyze us. I mean, have you ever felt overwhelmed when you look at your desk and you got all these different memos, all these different emails to attend to, all these different calls, meetings, all that stuff? It'll paralyze you, it gets overwhelming. In situations like this, I like to list out all the priorities that I have for that day, all the things that I need to get done, all the things that are overwhelming me, and then rate them on their importance of which will bring the most value, the most return, and then to go after the ones that are most important. And the little ones, if there's still things that need to be get, get done, you can delegate them to other people, or you can handle them the next day. But always go for the things that are going to give you the best return, 80-20 rule every single time. When these little priorities demand too much of us, big problems arise. The reason why most people are unsuccessful or why they're failing or why they're frustrated and stuck in a standstill is because they're spending so much time on these priorities that do not bring a good return. They're putting second things first instead of first things first. Time deadlines and emergencies force us to act. They force us to prioritize. If you have one letter to write, it's gonna take all day to get it done. But if you got 20, 50 letters to write in a short amount of time, you're gonna start cranking them out left and right like it's nothing. Under normal conditions, we are efficient, we're doing the right things, but when these deadline-driven projects happen, when emergencies arise, we become effective. Efficiency is for survival, but effectiveness, that's for success. So to really be effective, you gotta sit there and think, what is really the right things that I need to be doing? What is gonna give me the greatest return? I don't wanna just do things right, I wanna do the right things. What is gonna give you that most valuable? You really gotta ask yourself that. Write it down if you got to. So the top 20% of this video that gave you the 80% return in value would definitely be the 80-20 rule. Do the top 20% of the priorities in your business, organization, however it's structured, figure out the top 20% of the priorities and activities that yield you the 80% return and get really good at doing those 20% and delegate the rest. Find people in the organization that you can trust that you can show and teach and grow and mold into handling these other different objectives that you have to take care of. And that way you can focus on what really matters the most. Now, if you like this video on prioritizing and leadership and you wanna develop even more leadership skills, be sure to check out this playlist right there. Share this video on Facebook and if you're part of any personal development groups, you could share it with your friends there. And if you wanna learn how to reach your potential and crush your goals, start right now by hitting the round subscribe icon. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.